Okay, so now we're ready to write our first ever program in the processing programming language. So a program is a list of specific instructions that we'll write in this box here and the computer will follow them exactly starting from the top and working its way down. It's kind of like um, cooking a cake or something where we have a list of specific instructions written by somebody else. We follow the steps and we get the cake. In this case we will be writing the instructions. So we'll be writing a very simple program to start with called Hello World. It's a tradition that goes back to at least the early 1970s of writing computer programs. It's traditionally the first, lang first program anybody writes in any particular language. So we're going to start by typing in. We're going to write a, um, a line of code that says print ln. So I'll write the code down in the, uh, the comments section for this video. But it is case sensitive, so we have to have it all lowercase. Print ln. That tells the computer we're going to ask you to put something into the console window down here. We then need to give it some brackets to tell it what we're going to put in the console window. And last of all, we finish off the line with a semicolon because that's what the computer recognizes as I've finished that instruction now. Now we go back to those brackets and what we want it to print out is a piece of text. So we put the text inside a pair of inverted commas and that just tells the computer that whatever I put in there is just text. Please just use it and pass it on, but don't try to understand it as if it's computer programming code itself. So we'll type out text that says hello world and we're good to go. You'll notice there were some errors starting to come up here. That's That will happen as you're writing out code that is not quite complete yet. Once we're finished, we push the play button to start running our code. And two things will happen. First is that a window will start up here. That's because processing is a fundamentally graphical language. It really wants to start drawing things on the screen for us, so it creates a window to do that. We won't be using that for now, but the program still brings it up anyway. And then down here in the console window is the hello world in, um, where the computer has carried out our instruction correctly. One thing you'll notice is that the inverted commas we used here to tell the computer that we were working with uh, text, um, they're not displayed down here, so only the bit between the inverted commas is shown. So there we have it, we've written our program and run our program and successfully made the computer say hello world. The next thing to do is to stop the program and then of course we can modify it. So I might want it to say, hello Chris. So I can just change the text to whatever I like and when I push play again, it will run with the modified program. So you can now take your program and make it say whatever you like. Once you've finished, we stop here and move on to doing something a little bit more interesting.